Well, I understand from uh, from where you're coming, sir, but your man is uh, scheduled to wrestle right now, and I would suggest you move over there and let's turn it over to our ring announcer, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be one fall with a 10-minute time limit. From New York, weighing in at 238 pounds, Mark Lewis, his manager, the great Mephisto. His opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 230 pounds, Ricky Pierce. <laughs> All right, Pierce going up against Mark Lewin, and Lewin exploding on him. Lewin, very quickly, floats on the man and moves out against him. Pierce having no chance whatsoever, caught from behind by Lewin once again. Lewin, a series of chops, back of the throat, now in the front of the throat. And Lewin, ripping, gouging, tearing, striking. A veritable tornado exploding on this man, Pierce. No one brings him up. Two hundred and fifty pounds right into his midsection. Lewin whips him off, catches him in the sleeper hold. Lewin has him in the sleeper hold. Lewin cinching down that forearm coming across the carotid artery, stopping the flow to the brain itself. And again, Mephisto being told to get Lewin off. And that appears to be the only way that can be successfully done, is to put uh, Lewin into a state of darkness himself. He has moved him away from uh, Pierce. It is now Mephisto's responsibility to awaken this man, Pierce. And Lewin, outside the ring. And Mephisto making sure that he keeps him under control. In the meantime, it is their responsibility to awaken this man, Pierce. It is now, uh, there you see Lewin. And Lewin trying to attack the fallen form of Pierce, but uh, Mephisto bringing him back under control. He talked about him walking to a different tune. He, he marches to a different drumbeat, that's for sure. A tremendous physical specimen. Uh, what's happened to him uh, emotionally and all, I just uh, I just don't know. I want to have a word or two with uh, the great Mephisto uh, regarding this man, Lewin, and uh, we can get him over here. It takes a little bit of time to uh, keep this man under control. You know, going against Mark Lewin is like running against the wind. And now, Dick Slater. Dick Slater, the man that they would have me to believe that he could withstand the onslaught of Mark Lewin. That would be mere child's play once Mark Lewin faces Dick Slater. I shall say a special prayer to Allah that when Dick Slater sees Mark Lewin standing in the ring glaring at him, he will have the courage and the determination in the army not to let the people down. So, Dick Slater, I have only two things to say to you. The Shanghai Sleeper and the Singapore Slice. This is the martial arts, the karate that this man has studied so well. Thank you so very much. We'll find out Sunday Sudden the 27th.